Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Hello, everybody. Doing the work that I do has afforded me the opportunity to travel and fish some mighty wonderful places and catch some certain fish that has put a lasting memory in my mind that I'll never forget, especially in the way they hit my bait and their unbelievable power and speed once hooked. You know, I've often said, life is all about your collection of memories. And I have got a job that has afforded me many chances to collect so many of these precious times. Webster defines the word memory as a collection of things learned and retained from the activity or experience, and many of mine come from fishing trips. Like the time I had the opportunity to fish with the world champion heavyweight boxer, Smoking Joe Frazier. Years ago, I used to do a lot of promotional work for Anheuser-Busch in St. Louis, especially when it related to fishing for almost 10 years. And I'll never forget the time when I was on a kingfish trip out of Jacksonville, Florida with Smoking Joe, Mickey Mantle, and several others who were on the Anheuser-Busch marketing team. We were on a 54-foot boat, and while fishing with Joe, we started kidding around, laughing, and sparring, and he mentioned how hard kingfish fight. And he said to me, Bill, the fun is in the fight. You got to enjoy it. I looked at him and said, what? <laughs> the fun is in the fight? You got to enjoy it? I asked him, is it that way in the ring for him? And he said, oh yeah, especially with Ali. <laughs> and today, whenever I catch a king, I always remember thinking, Joe was absolutely right. They're like a silver bullet when you pull the trigger. And when my buddy Blair Wiggins, who also does a popular saltwater fishing show, called and said he was sitting on a school of kings just off the coast of St. Petersburg, Florida, in the Gulf of Mexico, <laughs> well, my memory turned back to what Smoking Joe had told me. And I couldn't wait to enjoy another three-minute round from one of these tremendous fighters. What's this about? Bill, you got one right here. Grab that rod right there. I got it. I got it. The only bad thing now, Bill, is we got a freighter coming. Yeah. Try to keep that off as much as possible. But yeah, that wasn't in the water more than about 30 seconds, was it? Nah. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds worth. He's gonna realize he's hooked here in a second. I think he just did. You ever had smoked kingfish dip? Never. At uh, a lot of times in the restaurants around, you'll see smoked kingfish dip. That's just what this is. Is that what it is? Yeah. Call them little slimers. I was gonna ask you, were these things good to eat? They are delicious. A lot of people think they're like a trash fish to go and do, but I mean, you can fry these things up. The meat turns just as white as it can be. I think he just figured out he was hooked. That might be a good one. So they, they travel in schools, don't they? Yes, sir, they do. And when the bait shows up here on the West Coast, they show up right with them. And that... Is a perfect size kingfish right there. Boy, those teeth right there. That, they remind you so much of a barracuda, don't they? Yeah, but they're, these are more like a serrated serrated uh, teeth. Yeah. Barracuda has those two teeth in the back and or two up front, and they actually have holes in their in their in their skeleton up there where the barracuda's teeth go up into. Yeah. These are just more like a razor, and they will. If you had your finger in there, it'd take it off. Let's put him in the sun here, show you that blue, got beautiful blue and green colors in them. Yeah. They're just an absolute gorgeous fish. Yeah, they are. And we're going to see what this one looks like, made with a little bit of uh, cream cheese and chives and, and hot sauce. A lot of smoke and hot sauce. Louisiana hot well. sauce. Bill Dance Saltwater is sponsored in part by 
Bass Pro Shops, and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Quantum Rods and Reels, Quantum Performance Tuned. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube for great information that can improve your fishing. Another special fish that I dearly love to catch is the magnificent, hard-pulling, acrobatic tarpon. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have wanted to make a memory catching a giant 150-pounder, and I've been blessed to have done that. But for me, the real fight is with the middleweight class on light tackle. You know, there's just something special about sneaking up into the shallow water tributaries that gently flow into the Indian River near Palm Bay, Florida. Now hooking up with a 20 to 50 pounder or more gives you every bit of the fight that a big tarpon gives, but when you match your tackle to the size of the fish you're catching, ooh, goodness gracious, what a memory. Yeah, baby! Woohoo! Can't catch him. He's coming up. Look at that! Oh, do you see that? How that grapple jumps? <laughs> That's beautiful. We'll catch you, Lana, huh? I guess so. Yeah. That makes me stand up. Someone's got to make it work. Thought he was going under the trolling motor. Hey, Lightning Drag, just a little bit. He's got a few more big jumps in him, I think. That is, you, it, that is more fun than anything. Is that not fun? Is that <laughs> not fun? Look at that shiny, it's like just silver, boy. I fish all day for just for that, just that one, the action. The jump, the fight, goodness gracious. It's super that exciting. Was a, hey, hey, that was a great fight. It's a small tarpon, but it's a big fish. Oh, you bet it's a big fish. It's a monster fish on this stuff. No, I'm on. Under. Huh? Oh, going back, going to the right. It's going back to the right. <laughs> There he goes. Oh, where are you? <laughs> Nelly. Hey, why don't you pull up them power poles? We'll move up to him if you don't mind. He's way up there in the cover now. All right, I'm lifting him up. That fish is giving you all you want and then some. And then some, be poked. <laughs> that tarpon's a lot bigger than little. Easy. Check out that beautiful creature God created right there. Look at that thing. Oh, what a beautiful fish. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, he's over 30. All right, let's get her. Let's set her free. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome, Bill. What a privilege and honor to catch these fish with you. Well, I'm telling you what, it's an honor and a privilege for me to be with you and see you catch them. You really work that fish. Today's show is brought to you in part by 
Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Gamakatsu, the world's finest fish hooks. And Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. Today's show is brought to you in part by Berkeley, catch more fish. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And by Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Pop. Now, one of my favorites, if not the favorite saltwater fish of mine to catch, well, she's wise, she's smart, she lives a long, long time, she's had so many baits thrown at her, and is an extremely special fish to catch. Like I said, she's really smart. And so many people fish their entire lifetime for her and never get a chance to enjoy the fight on these buster size snook. She's not a jumper, but she doesn't have to. She makes up for it in so many other ways. She's a speedster and she's a line stripper. She can do the 104.2 seconds. She can definitely smoke some line. And when you think you've got her under control, uh-uh, she'll strip more line before you can say, stop it. They're smart, like I said. They see well, they hear well. They're a tremendous game fish, and once hooked, their will to live is incredible. And what you felt through the rod and the sound of the drag coming off your reel is another memory you won't forget soon. Check out these monsters. There's one. You got one? I got one. What is it? It's a snook. It's a good one? Yeah, a good one. Oh, look at it. Oh, he's stripping it now. Look at him, strip it. <laughs> Ooh, Nelly. I think this is going to be an impressively large one. We've got some big ones together. This Boy, could be, we this could some, top we it. we got memorable trips together. You know, people fish all their lives just to get a hold, get a hold of a fish like this. Holy moly. Oh. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, he's a big one. Woo! <laughs> no, I think it's the biggest. I'm not even joking. Like, we've got giants. Gosh! Oh, man. That Gamakatsu, seven out octopus, was right there in the corner of the mouth. I was worried that he was fraying through the leader, but he wasn't. He hooked him perfect. Whew. Holy smokes. Goodness gracious. That thing. Is giant. <laughs> How much do you think he'll weigh? Man, I don't want to over-exaggerate, but I, that's like one of the heaviest snook I've ever caught. I mean, he's high 30s, for sure. I bet he's over 40 pounds. He might be. <laughs> he has to be, because we had 140 one time, and he's bigger than anything I've ever caught. It's giant. All right, Bill, I'm on. Get out of your way. Ooh, look at him back in that log. Come on, Peter. Come on, Peter. Oh, boy, look at him. All right, um, you tell me where to go. Right on the left side. I'm going to just sit right here, Keith. Oh, boy, did you see that? Get that laid up. Got him in it so far. <laughs> He's a caught <cop> pig. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, my main man. Thank oh, you what for a fish. Him. Woo! Now you said, why you come down here? Right there. <laughs> Look at that pretty thing. 
That was so much fun right there for me. Boy, that fish had you bit. Oh, look at the manatee. Scared, it scared me. He got me all jittery. <laughs> the manatee's coming up to see what's going on. <laughs> How you cool. doing, good, buddy? Let's get some more. <laughs> oh. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. What's the key to catching big sheephead? Well, my buddy and guide Josh Nelson and Destin says, light tackle, a few baits, and use 20-pound braid with a 2-ounce lid and an 18 to 24 inches of fluorocarbon leader with a one-off gamakatsu circle hook and says it's good to have live shrimp and fiddler crabs. And don't forget to concentrate on depths of 12 to 18 feet from December to February. Today's show is sponsored in part by Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And by Finnor, legendary tackle since 1933. Closed caption provided by the Bill Dance Store. Check us out online. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter sonar combos with their advanced sonar technology like Panoptic's Live Scope All-Seeing Sonar. You'll spend less time finding your fish. Hey, I got a great product I want to show and tell you about. It's one of EGO's Cryptek Genesis Landing Net series. This S1 model is truly unique and attractive with a removable handle for easy storage and interchangeable accessories for several different size removable handles and net styles and sizes. And you know something? It floats. Come be part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. Hello everybody, welcome back to a trip down memory lane for some fun times catching some of my favorite fish. Another grand old fish that takes quite a bit of skill to catch and one that can set your drag on fire and is a tremendous amount of fun to catch and that's the permit. Those silver dollars can put up one heck of a fight and when you turn that big wide silver body sideways to you they can pull and pull and pull. Whew, woo, what a fight. And better than that, what a memory. Is there a secret to hooking these yes, crabs? Yes, absolutely. You want to get them right in the corner, just right in that little triangle looking corner, as far out as you can get. You got to kind of slowly push it from the bottom up to the top. And then, now that's a, what, a three out hook? Mm, that's only about two. There you go, real attention out. There you go, nice, nice job, Bill. All right. Good cast, right on him, man. Look at him go with it. That's a nice one, Bill. Take your time with him. Hey, get that big flat body, they go where they want. He just got his turn side, boys. Look at him at that. Big fish. Yeah! Hey, brother! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> nice job, Bill. You, you, you dropped it right in the middle of them. You're being too conservative with our cast. Everybody was throwing a little, a little too, uh, too far. Huh? <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's beautiful. I tell you what, look at those big eyes. Yeah. Better to see you with my dear. Now, there's one more fish that's, well, he may not strip the line like a kingfish or a barracuda, but the fight of these bulls is like spending three minutes in the ring against Smoking Joe Frazier. These heavyweights will punch you from the moment they take your offering and give you round after round of fun fighting that'll make your arms feel like wet noodles when you finally land him. It's just super hard not to feel the thrill of a big old red trying to inhale your topwater plug. Tell you what, just watch this for some fun fighting excitement. We're going to start seeing a couple levitate in here, too. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Fire oh. pole down. I'm oh, going right into the road. Did you Rosa. see that? Look at that fish go. <laughs> that looked like a tsunami. <laughs> that is one big... I can't do anything with him. I just see him strike. That, that's the most phenomenal thing. Look at him go. Look at him up on top of the water. That's another Clydesdale. Woo! What a fish. Good gravy slicks left. What do you think you about that big dog, huh? I'll let you be the dentist. Oh, mom. Can you <laughs> that believe fish. that fish, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that big thing. That's why we come to Venice. I'm telling you. Isn't that beautiful? You know, we can always hold a glimpse of our memories, our dreams, and our most favorable experiences across the waters we've traveled. I certainly can remember mine, and I'm glad I had the chance to share with you and let you relive some of my most fondest fishing memories. Thanks again for watching some of our trips across the waves of some of our salty inshore waters this week. And remember, this is something you can do and create your own memories. Yes, you can do this. And we'll catch you again right here next week on Build and Saltwater. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Yes, you can do this. Please join us right here next week.